When I was five years old and I was in kindergarten, I painted every single day. When I first begin a painting, I start with an abstract uh, underpainting. And I start using colors, sometimes what I just happen to have the most of. And I start moving the color around. And then the next thing you know, the, the shapes and the colors start to become a composition in and of themselves. There's a movement or a melody or a symphony. And, and, and it, it must, side A must correlate with side B and meet in the middle and something has to happen. And uh, little things doing things with other little things happening. And the next thing I know, I've got uh, what I call a ground. And that ground is color and shape and excitement, texture and scratches and layers. And of that, I'm finding, finding, finding my way through this painting. And it's like a dance. I'm not its creator. We work together. The painting is an entity all its own, dependent on me for its existence. Painting is a vehicle and a mode of expression. It's a language of which I have my own dialect and I'm capable of expressing something inner that can't be said any other way. I can't, if I could write a song about it or if I could write a story about it, I would. But I paint and I use the color, the texture of the paint, the line, uh, the, the stories that I create, the characters, and um, creatures that I put into the work. All of these things are, are to evoke emotion. So when you see it, you feel something. And uh, I, they're, they're, they're not literal stories. They're, they're ambiguous representations. They're metaphors that will help the viewer to feel what I'm wanting to feel when I look at the, at the work. In my work, I try to be as truthful with negative and positive emotions and, and feelings. As I'm creating a work of art, I, I am honest with myself every square inch of the piece. If, if there is something that doesn't feel right, it's wrong. If I, if I wonder if it's right, it's usually wrong. When I do the paintings, and I'm kind of free falling through it, bringing it out of a state of abstraction. I'm, I'm in a state of discovery and I'm in a, and I, I could almost panic and I do at times panic. And I think, what am I doing? What is this? I don't know. And I just like relax and I just let myself fall into it because the space of not knowing something is a little bit scary, but it is excellent because the possibilities that I have at my fingertips then is limitless. A lot of people love a particular artist's work, but they don't really know the artist or they don't respond to the artist like they respond to Jane personally. So, so many people who come in here love her work and also love her. And so, I think that's a wonderful kind of different thing that I've experienced with Jane. Mm -hmm. The heads, well, um, when I have an opening in my hometown at Tyndall Gallery, the heads just kind of come out and it's just, 
crazy. It's just kind of fun and there's a lot of people and we're just enjoying ourselves and then all of a sudden these crazy heads come out and they kind of crash the party. The influence that Jane's work is having right now is, I mean right now is history. And so the effect that it's having on people who are living right now is immense and I know it's going to continue.